Hi guys, welcome back to Spars Outdoors. We're actually doing the fishing report down here from the boardwalk. We're gonna be doing some fishing tonight, actually. Um, but before we get started, I wanna show you guys something here. Go ahead, Hannah, hand me that, that Uncle Dry bag right there. Hand me that, yep. Okay. And then, uh, and then bring me that ice. I wanna show you what you can do with this dry bag. And you can do this with fish and everything else. Just make sure you clean it out real good when you're done. Hey, Hannah, you wanna come over here and hold this up? Hold it up for the camera, baby. My beautiful daughter, Hannah, here. Mrs. Cheer USA. We're gonna break this ice up. And you just dump it right here into this Runkle dry bag. Well, gotta open it up a little more, I guess. But you just dump it right there into that dry bag. There you go. Well, it's on me too. But there you go. That ice is in there, so now what I'm gonna do, you're gonna take your waters, your drinks here. Got some diet green tea, stuff like that. And you're gonna throw it in there on ice. And close that bag up, and it's gonna keep everything cold. All of our drinks cold for tonight. And at the end of the night, we're gonna be putting some walleyes in there at the end of the night, so. Hopefully. We're not gonna do a fishing video tonight, but here's the fishing report. Right down here along this boardwalk, it's hit or miss. I mean, we come down last night, we caught eight, guy next to us caught six, and guys on both sides of us caught zero. Had no hits. Last night that moon was bright. The last three nights that moon's been real bright, slowed fishing right off. I mean right off. Full moon, just shut the fishing right down. This water's so clear when that moon is shining bright like that, it shuts them walleyes right down uh out in the lake they've been doing the same thing you know i've been out there it's been a great it's been a great fishery out there you're getting a lot of small fish most of these small fish that were in this river system moved out to the lake but mark my words they will be coming back into this river soon there's still big walleyes right here we caught like i said we caught not eight nice keepers last night you're still going to get your fish it's going to be hit or miss from this blue otter bridge clear down in marine city and algonac you're going to have the same reports you know very slow one night next night you get some fish next night you pound them that's just how it goes it's that time of year you guys got to understand that them fish transition out into that cooler water into that lake all the bait fish are in the lake all the bait fish are in the lake i mean there's still schools here and there coming through the st Clair river very rare when you see any very rare to see a big school of bait fish anymore they're all transitioning out in the lake even them bait fish go to that cooler water and that's where them walleyes go as for salmon and trout fishing, they're still getting fish out there in the lake. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is going to happen. Them fish are going to start coming in closer. You're going to start seeing a lot of steelhead, cohos, lake trout. They're all going to be, instead of that 150, 160 foot of water, you're going to start getting them back into the 70s, 90s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, even into the 30s. I've went out in August and pounded fish in 30 foot of water out in Harbor Beach and Endport Santa Lake. You know, Lexington, same thing. You're going to have to fish a little deeper in Lexington. That's just how it's that's just how it goes it's like a toilet bowl out there out there you know and lexington not much structure so you're going to go a little bit deeper to get those fish out there but all them deeper fish are going to start coming you're going to get a lot of steelhead and uh scamanias are going to start showing up out there like i said the lake trout run everything deep you know uh big spoons spinning glow stuff like that the the darker color spoons seem to work the best for me anyways personally for the lake trout I try to steer clear of them and I run everything up high trying to get the steelhead, cohos, occasional king, whatever's out there, Atlantic, you know. I like the silverfish much, much better than the lake trout, but we're going to be also heading over to Ludington, which that's, an, like I said before, that's another video to come. That's going to be a great video. But yeah, we're down here at the boardwalk for this fishing report. We're going to fish tonight. I'm not going to make a video, but at the end of the night, maybe I'll take a quick video and uh, show you what we caught right here off this fishing report. And uh, today's Sunday. Um, it's going to get pretty packed down here, I'd say. Right now, there's not too many people, but my dad's coming down. My kids are coming down. We're going we're gonna to fish with the heavy rods using the, using the little challengers and the medium-sized challengers. I'm going to start going back up to bigger baits, you know, and then crawlers on the bottom again and doing a little bit of jigging as well. So the perch fishing, that has, it's been sporadic. One guy will get two, one guy will get none, and one guy will get 20. It's just how it goes in Lake Huron right now. I've not heard great numbers of perch, you know. Everything's been messed up with the weather. Lake Erie, perch, perch fishing's definitely taken off. I have, I have a good buddy. Uh, he's just, he's Mr. Perch, you know. That guy is a perch fishing fool. He's a perch fanatic. He's a, he's a, a perch addict. 
he goes all over harsons island's got perch right now lake st Clair's getting some nice perch you know all, all through harsons island over over into the channels over by uh metro area they're getting some nice perch out there st Clair river along shore shore fishing people are getting some perch you know they're doing better than the guys in the lake in the boat right now so the pond fishing you've seen that video that was a that was a private pond but the public pond my buddy was over behind walmart and, or sorry my buddy was over behind myers and he caught a big pike he got a couple bass and a real nice bluegills he had a great time with his kids that's a, that's a nice place to take the kids fishing just using worms with a bobber you know or casting a spinner bait or whatever top water lures back into the weeds and into the lily pads you'll get you'll get fish there um pond fishing's fun creek fishing you've seen the creek fishing video that's a <laughs> that's a blast take the kids to some local creeks and just throw a worm in there a little piece of worm with a bobber and see what happens you never know what you're gonna catch um but that's your fishing report for this week and I hope I hope you guys get out there and try it. You know, just because things are slowing off, don't mean you can't come down here and have the best night you've had all year walleye fishing. It's that time of year where things are going to start changing around, and we're going to start picking up nice fish again. Hope you like that fishing report, and like I said, go to Runkle.com, check out that dry bag. It's an amazing product. Use my discount code S P A L L two Runkle Spall two Runkle, all capital letters. And you'll get 15% off anything they have, anything they have on their on their website and merchandise that they that they sell. You can get 15% off using my discount code. So there it is for you guys. There's your fishing report. Good luck. So I ended up with my limit. My brother got four, and my dad got five. So not a bad night.